Stacy Boone. Good job. Nicely done. You see how calm you're staying? That is very impressive here. That's only going to help Blue stay calm as well. When we say she's a very empathetic dinosaur, that's a big part of what we need. She's going to reflect what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, in the latter part of the Cretaceous period, Dromaeosaurus ruled the land using their speed, agility, and vicious hunting techniques. Today, we invite the bravest among you to encounter the mightiest theropod of 75 million years ago, the Velociraptor. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Raptor Encounter. My name is Kelly. I'm one of the dinosaur handlers here at Jurassic World. And you are very brave volunteers. You're helping us with the most crucial part of our raptor program. This is where we get to see what Blue is like in front of all of you guys. Uh, Blue's our favorite, definitely mine. She's extremely intelligent and very empathetic towards all of our guests. We've seen this with her quite a bit. So I think you'll find that she is so excited. That's her, she's very excited to get out here. So have those cameras out and ready to go. Uh, do remember, she is still technically a wild animal, okay? For you, that's gonna mean no sudden movements, and for your safety, we do ask that you do not approach the dinosaur until you are directed to do so. So follow those rules, and you'll be just fine. So do not worry, we do have everything under control. Right, FedSex? Yes, we do. All right, I like your enthusiasm. Let's go ahead and open the gates. You see? Girl. Eyes on me, Blue. Hold. Eyes on me. Blue. There we go. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. That's it. We hope you enjoyed your time with our Velociraptor today. Your participation in the Raptor program is vital for the safety and training of our animal. gentlemen, in the latter part of the Cretaceous period, Dromaeosaurus ruled the land using their speed, agility, and vicious hunting techniques. Today, we invite the bravest among you to encounter the mightiest theropod of 75 million years ago, the Velociraptor. There we go. Obviously, we had some technical difficulties. Thank you for bearing with us, everybody. Did give me a good opportunity to kind of calm Blue down. You did see how fervently she came out the gate here. Gonna be watching this very carefully, and this is also a good time to remind you guys that you should have signed those liability waivers before you got into the queue. Vet Techs, let's go ahead and get started with our first group of volunteers. Easy. So those are her sisters. Steady Blue. They're not gonna be joining us. One Velociraptor is quite enough. Let's have you guys come stand right here towards the center. This is the safest place to be throughout the encounter. If you're feeling nervous, that's okay. We're not gonna force anyone to take documentation if you don't feel comfortable. Although, no, 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 no. We're gonna have you stay right over here towards the center. We will not be entering the paddock at any point. That is for your safety. Easy, Blue, easy. Back it up. Back it up. As you can see, she's extremely protective of her space. The safest thing that we can do, and to be the most beneficial here for the purposes of loose training, is when you do reach the front, turn your back to her and face the camera and get documentation that way. Our vet techs here, RJ, are gonna be uh, happy to help you with that documentation. In any other circumstance, we can go ahead and do that right now. Go ahead, turn around. You wanna break eye contact with her. Too much stained eye contact can get this kind of reaction from her. Easy. Easy. Stay calm, you're doing great. We're observing her, but she's observing us. As you can see, it's steady, girl. Once we get that documented, let's have you guys safely exit over to the side. Do watch your step. We've got a little bit of moisture here at the front of the paddock. If anything or anyone slips and falls into the paddock, there is no guarantee I can get you back out. So clearly, Blue is very alert to what's going on in the surrounding area. Pretty typical for her. She is Velociraptor, of course. That's pretty typical of that species. But Blue here is the alpha female, so she's always gonna be super aware, all right? To put it mildly. 
This is going to be her final encounter of the day as well. So we want to make sure that we understand that she's had a long day. Some fatigue might be setting in and most definitely hunger will be setting in at some point as well. In fact, that was her hunting call right there. A little earlier than I thought we would hear this. So this is what we're going to do. Let's have everyone group together right here. And we're going to want to turn around pretty quickly, you guys. As smart as our girl is, are we all in the same group here? We are all in the same group, all right. Best to go one group at a time, just to minimize any unnecessary movement. Quick movement, sudden movement, she associates that with her prey. When her prey is in the vicinity and they know that she's in the vicinity, they flinch, they get startled, they run. So that's why we want to keep these movements to a minimum. And as soon as we get that documentation, as I said, we're gonna have you guys safely exit to the side. Those of you off the side here, you're welcome to be there. Don't feel like you have to leave, but just be mindful of your movements as well. She's going to be very aware of the entire perimeter here. Right this way, everybody. So we're monitoring her behavior. Like I said, we want to see what she's like in front of all of you. She's just meeting you guys for the first time. Even if you've met her before, uh, it was uh, probably fairly brief, right? She and I have been working together ever since she hatched. That's over three years. So she and I have developed a very strong sense of trust and respect. So we want her to get used to people. Excellent bravery, you guys. Well done, okay. Easy girl, easy blue. Notice how they barely flinched. I'm not going to expect that from everyone, but we are going to ask everyone to attempt to be that grounded as well. We're looking for a lot of patterns of her behavior and you see something interesting happening right here. Okay, so she hears that aircraft above and look at the way that she's backed up into the paddock and taking a stance that's a little lower to the ground there. That is her natural instincts telling her to be watchful of the skies too. Her ancestors would have to worry about flying dinosaurs such as pterodactyls. They would prey on young velociraptors. And Blue, she's a lot bigger than her ancestors were. Those velociraptors from 75 million years ago, they were about the size of a large turkey. So if you're wondering why Blue is so much bigger, it's because we had to alter her DNA. She actually contains the DNA of a great white shark. That is one of the reasons why she's presenting so much bigger than her ancestors did. But even though she's got that size difference, those instincts are still intact. That is still built into that DNA. Now come along the other side. And a pretty clear focus on something happening off to the side here. You see she's almost always got that split stance. It's all right. She's getting very protective of you too. That's what's happening right here. When she comes forward that way, and you see how she's tilting her head to the side, this behavior tells me that it's not malicious. She's not looking at you like your food. However, you are wearing bright red, which does remind her of her food. So you're going to want to be a little mindful. But you're doing great. This is the only opportunity that Blue has to be around kids, of course. We don't employ minors here at Jurassic World. So this is her opportunity to show us just how far that maternal instinct extends not just to her actual kin, she's got a younger sister, Sierra, who's out and about right now with Clark. But she also does get very protective of humans too. So we see that from time to time. There's a fine line between protective and predatory though. Another reason why I'm here, I'm highly trained to recognize the differences in that behavior. Get over here, yes, yeah, steady blue, steady. Gosh, is the eye contact, she's interested in our friends here as well. She's sensing that Mamasaurus takes very good care. Easy, Blue, good job. Nicely done, you see how calm you're standing? That is very impressive here. That's only gonna help Blue stay calm as well. When we say she's a very empathetic dinosaur, that's a big part of what we need. She's gonna reflect whatever kind of uh, behaviors that she's seeing in front of her. So if you come up here and you're very calm, just like you witnessed here with our young guests, odds are she'll stay calm too. Great 
great job, you guys. Also, when you're not making an eye contact and your back is facing her, you are putting yourself in a more vulnerable position. That's probably why it feels like, wait, should I be doing this? Here you should, because that's gonna signal to her that you're not here to cause her harm. And right now, she's responding to that bright red color. So this is an involuntary blue. Back it up. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Involuntary chemical reaction when she sees the color red. It is triggering the reward system in her brain. That instinct there is going to be the first thing that happens. It's going to be that initial response. And it's her sense of restraint and the training she's received prior to this that ends it there. Also, her sense of smell. Just because she sees something that resembles the same color as her food, it's not going to smell the same. And that sense of smell is really the thing that's going to tell her that this is something that she wants to eat. Potential prey. Or, if there's a threat in the vicinity, all of these things can be determined through those senses there. I love when you guys also come up together as a group. It is a wonderful idea. Always safety in numbers. She's a pack hunter herself. That's why she got excited when she heard her sister through the other doors there. So when she sees a pack of humans coming up, she's gonna respond differently. She's gonna realize she's outnumbered and she's going to adjust how she might interact here. Got a little natural law right now. We're gonna just hold the line for just a second. Just a second. Backlab. That was a pretty quick warning trap. Let's have everyone back up just a tiny bit. Give her a little bit more space here in case she gets aggressive. Easy. Now this could be a result of the fact that, as I mentioned earlier, I think she is. That's her hunting call again, you guys. Uh, blue, focus. Eyes on me, Blue. Back it up, girl. Is that supposed to happen? Ah, uh, well, not this soon, I don't think. Back it up, girl. So she must be getting hungry here, that text. I don't know if we should could carry on with this. We're getting so close to the end of the day. I would hate for it to end poorly, but, um, I mean, they signed the waivers. We're going to get our research. Let's go ahead and open the line. If anyone is brave enough to continue... Hopefully we can finish this encounter without any issues. We've never had a raptor-related issue here at the park before. But like I said, that hunting call there... We're going to see if a little bit of interaction with our vet techs, whom she's familiar with, if this can distract her, if this can seem to calm her down a little bit. Help her forget that she might be feeling that sense of hunger. Easy. Easy. Steady girl. Did you guys sign those waivers on the way in? Oh yeah. Good. Oh! It's not going to be too useful here. I'm not going to lie to you. She is getting a little aggressive. So you see that anytime you get that sharp chomp, the best reaction, I try to exemplify it myself, is to just stay calm, right? The more normal we continue to act, the more Blue might pick up on the fact that, hey, everything's okay. So let's have you guys come forward. If you are with a group, it is a good idea, especially at this point, to come up all together, like I said. And we want to do so cautiously. Right in that line, though, if we're too cautious, again, she might start to associate that kind of hesitancy with her prey. Great job, great job. And she does have one of her biggest opportunities to feed after this, as this is her final encounter of the day. She's getting a little hangry here. You see this? That fatigue is setting in just a bit. She knows that she's going to have some uh, a chance to uh, run around. She's going to be with her sisters. What we do is we let loose some animals that she can then hunt for. Keeps their skills sharp. It prevents them from... Uh, 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 that's not your food. That almost ended very poorly indeed. No, thank you. Come on up right this way. It's all right, it's all right. You came up with confidence, which is good. She's just meeting that confidence now. She's feeling spicy because of that hunger she's got. But what you're doing is perfect. Here's the test. Turn around and face the camera. Look at that. 
He says, okay, he turns around. That's courage right there. That's what I aspire to have. And look at the way that Blue's responding. She's staying put. She's got that tilt of the head. So you've caught her attention and she's now curious. So she's not perceiving a threat. And she's certainly not looking at you like food right now. So that's a really good sign. Although she's getting a little still. Easy girl. Did we get that documented? We did? Okay, now she's taking a step closer. So let's have you slowly exit over to the side. You see the way she's leaning in? She's starting to test the boundaries. So for those of you that are in the queue, come on forward here. If we can get through this, uh, 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 if we can get through this nice and steady, we should be able to conclude it with a great day. We got quite a few people left in the queue here. So I wanna pick up the pace just a bit. And we're going to, like I said, limit that eye contact. So of course, as you come forward, it is only natural to look towards her as you're doing so. When you reach the front though, turn around, settle in, face that camera there. We got a lot of that hissing sound coming from her. She's not hissing at anybody, but that sound right there, she's inhaling. So she's picking up scents. She's doing it more often, further confirming that hunger. So for safety, we're gonna close the line at this point. If you're in the queue, have your cameras out and ready to go, okay? In the early days of her training, we would often carry frozen mice in our pockets and we would give them to her to positively reinforce good behavior. If you come up here and you're taking something out of your pocket, she might think it's food, okay? So have that camera out before you reach the front and watch your step, a bit slick over here. You'll notice that blue often avoids the water as well. Velociraptors are not water-dwelling dinosaurs. She's right behind you, careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you did, uh, decide to turn around, do so slowly and be prepared to become face-to-face -face with her. That is the third time, folks. Okay, she's not joking. Let's have you guys stand right here. I'm gonna stay on this side here out of an abundance of caution, all right? If she sees my presence here, hopefully, no, ma'am, don't even, we are so close, don't even think about it. No, ma'am. That's right, we're going to get you some food right after this. Great job, great job, it's okay, let's carry on right this way. You see, she's retracted those six-inch claws there at the bottom of her feet. Something that she frequently does when she's getting ready to move suddenly. She can then grip those claws into the ground. It allows her to get some traction and propel herself forward very suddenly. So the fact that we're seeing that right here in such a limited space is a little concerning. Come on right this way. If you're all together, let's have you guys all come up. That way we have a, an increased chance of staying as safe as possible, all right? We are so close. Blue's been very patient. She's so hungry. Remain calm. It's okay. It's okay. Did we get it? Let's have you guys group together one last time. And by last time, I really hope I don't mean literally the last time. I would like to do more encounters. Easy, girl. Steady. Did we get that? All right, let's have you guys safely exit over to the side. Go ahead and go. Go ahead and exit right this way. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. We are clear. Thank you for your participation today, everybody. I am so happy to say nobody got today. That text, I'd like to keep it that way. Blue, I saw me. Nice and steady, girl. There we go. Easy. Blue, you hungry? Yes, you are. Back it up. Steady, girl. We hope you enjoyed your time with our Velociraptor today. Your participation in the Raptor program is vital for the safety and training of our animals. We are thrilled to bring you the planet's most exciting and up-close dinosaur encounters, only here at Jurassic World.